おかえり、ドクター。Hello guys and welcome back in my channel. In this video, I review Blades. ロドスのオペレーター、ブレイズだよ。はい、これが私の配属権限委任状。ケルシー先生のサインはもらってあるよ。さて、ドクター、他のチームに私たちの実力を見せてあげよう。She's a six star operator and will be released at the release of the sixth chapter. Blaze is a guard that can attack all enemies equal to her block count. As any six star operator, she has two talents. The first one is Emergency Defibrillator. When her HP falls below 25% for the first time, she will recover immediately 50% of HP and for a short time, her HP will never fall below 50%. The second talent is Harsh Training. And after a short time after deploying, she will obtain resist buff that will reduce the duration of stun, snare, and freeze. Her first skill is Power Strike Gamma, and it's a simple skill that will increase her next attack's attack. Her second skill is Chainsaw Extension Module that will increase her attack, her defense, and her attack range by one tile for infinite duration. Her third skill is a Seating Burst that will increase her attack and defense gradually after activation, attacking all enemies one tile ahead. And at the end, she will deal stones of physical damage to all nearby enemies and lose 25% of her self HP. Let's talk about her base buffs. The first one is Hate Charge Alpha. When this operator is sent to a power plant, increase the drone recovery rate by 10%. The second buff is Steel Bender. When this operator is sent to the workshop to process base material, increase the byproduct rate by 80%. Summing up, Blaze is a 6 star guard that can attack all enemies equal to her block count. Her first talent will grant her one emergency heal and immortality for a short time. And let me explain how it works. Basically, when her HP falls under 25%, she will always keep one HP, that means she can't be instant killed by any type of enemies. And after that, she will restore 50% of HP, and for a short time, the HP won't fall below 50%. Her second talent is also really good and grant her resist buff, that is a really good buff in the game, allowing her to resist some debuff duration. Her first skill is a simple skill that will increase her next attack's attack. At a mastery free, that skill is really good because she only needs attack two times to activate the skill. If used with Chen, her damage is impressive. Her second skill is her powerful point because after activation, she will obtain really high amount of attack and some defense. But most important is she will get one extra attack range, allowing her to attack enemies even if she is behind a defender and the skill has infinite duration. The problem is the skill charge speed. You need to deploy her really early to charge it because even at massive free, you need to wait 70 seconds to activate it. But you can use power bank operators like Liskarm and Tilopsis to fast charge. The skill. And at Master Free, the attack buff is 100%, that means she will double her attack. Her third skill is a really cool skill. It's similar to Hoshiguma's third skill for the first 10 seconds, and at the end, she will do a huge amount of burst damage, just like a chance cherry bomb, but only physical damage. Because at the skill activation, she will increase her attack and defense gradually, and at the end, dealing burst damage to all nearby enemies, calculating her final attack statistic. For example, at Master Free, with 800 attack, when the skill is activated, she will gradually obtain 80% of attack and defense. 
So at the end, before she deal that burst damage, she will have 1440 attack. And the final move is dealing 400% of current attack as physical damage. That means 1440 by 4 will have 5760 physical damage. Just to mention, at Elite 2 max level, max trust, that damage will be 5940, of course without considering enemy's defense. Anyway, that skill's burst damage amount is the highest instant physical damage present in Arknights for now. The problem is you need to timing well, since the burst damage is 10 seconds after you activate the skill, and you need to consider she will lose 25% of HP at the end. And if her HP is lower than 25% when the skill finish, she will still be alive with 1 HP, so she can't be killed by her own skill. Basically, it's a cherry bomb with a 10 seconds timer. And at the end, the damage is also the same, so if you need a constant multiple nuke damage and without the side effect, it's better to use Chen's second skill. Overall, Blades is a really, really, really good guard. With second skill, she can do a really high DPS and maybe the operator who will deal the most DPS in a run. Her strength is so impressive. I really recommend you to try to get her from the new banner. About the Mastery Order, um, personally, I advise you to master free the second skill first, and then uh, to think wisely about to master other skills or not. But the second skill must be master free. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.